Good afternoon and welcome once more to the Redemptorist Oratory here at Bishop Eden in Liverpool. It's Thursday and I'm very conscious that we're approaching another weekend, so I just wanted to share this little message with you. I think one thing that's on all our minds at this particular moment is that devastating explosion in Beirut, in the Lebanon, which uh, has uh, touched our hearts and our hearts go out to all those people who are struggling in that situation. And my goodness, although we're struggling with the pandemic and all the problems that come with that, it does put everything into perspective, doesn't it? Our own problems seem to pale into insignificance when you think of what's happened to so many people. First of all, uh, the hundreds who've lost their lives, or certainly well over a hundred, the thousands of people who've been injured and badly injured, and the thousands of people who've lost their homes. So I'd like you to join with me to begin with just by praying that our Lord will reach out and help those who are trying to bring relief to these poor people, and pray that we will get that common sense of our one humanity, that we are all God's children, no matter what our backgrounds or what the circumstances. And we pray particularly for countries like the Lebanon, developing countries which don't have the same resources as we have to deal with these kind of problems. So Lord, help us to be compassionate always. Help us to reach out and support whenever we can with our prayers and in whatever way we can. So there we are. Alongside that, um, we continue to try and respond to our present situation. And I, I suppose in a way I've got some quite good news really. I'm, I'm trying to uh, respond to those suggestions that we made. And the response from you has been really encouraging. So for example with the First Communions, I know that um, considerable numbers have been in touch with uh, Mary Monkhouse. Um, and indeed with Trish Brophy, so we're going to have a look at how we can organise um, as many of the First Communions in these coming weeks as we can um, and make them lovely occasions, and yet as we know it won't be the way we wanted it to be. But that's been true of so many things and people are responding wonderfully. In fact today I had the lovely experience of doing my first baptisms since lockdown, and um, a lovely family came to St Mary's and we had the baptisms after the 12 o'clock mass today um, and it, it, it was just very beautiful and I've simplified the whole service, we, we've done everything we have to do but um, we've been encouraged to make sure all our services are reasonably short uh, and that we pay attention to caring for one another and making sure that we keep one another safe. And I must say it went very well, I don't know, I, I, I saw very in the very early days of uh, the, sh the lockdown, so people were exchanging all these different things on, on Facebook and on, on the different media. Um, and I saw this wonderful photograph of, of a priest performing a baptism with a water pistol to keep his safe distance. And I think I'll probably be sharing that with all the baptismal people in the coming weeks because it just so amused me. In it. And, uh, and it's lovely really, that, that sense of humour we can see in, in, even in these strange and, and challenging situations. By the way, I didn't use a water pistol today, um, and we did manage very well with the anointings and so on. Um, we use uh, cotton buds to do that. Um, anyway, we've got all the advice and we've followed it faithfully. Another lovely thing that happened, people are still sending me messages of goodwill over this Golden Jubilee, and I, I received this, this wonderful uh, folder um, from the Justice and Peace Group. Um, and it really has touched my heart. It just begins to, for Father Tim on your Golden Jubilee. Uh, best wishes and much love from everyone in the Justice and Peace Youth Group and their families. And it goes on to take us through from the early days of the pandemic and how people got together and supported one another. Um, how at Easter time you had your wreaths on the doors and so on. Um, how you set up your shrines in your homes and this kept you all together. And it just, I, I was just thrilled really with this and, and all the trouble you've gone to, page after page after page and lovely photographs and uh, drawings from the children uh, and so on. So a, a huge thank you to everybody in the Justice and Peace Group and again to everybody that sent these messages of goodwill and also that, that have been so generous to me. I've mentioned that before but I, I really am quite overwhelmed with it. So thank you for that. So there we are. We'll continue, I think, with the, the timetable we've got at the moment. It seems to be working. Um, the broadcast mass, the recorded mass, goes out each weekend, and obviously there are still a good number of people, understandably, still nervous about coming out. 
um, but also quite a number of people who've now uh, just gently started coming to Mass again occasionally and remember that the Mass times are there for you to see on the website and um, I, I keep saying I'm going to put them up on, on, the, on the church doors. I think maybe I will try and do that now because we, we have settled for this timetable for the time being. So just remember what it is. If we begin with Sunday, there's a 9.30 Mass here at Bishop Eaton. There's an 11 o'clock Mass at St Mary's. There's a 6 o'clock Mass at Bishop Eaton. Uh, then on Monday we have an 11 o'clock uh, at Bishop Eaton. Um, on Tuesday um, we have a 7 o'clock in the evening at St Mary's. On Wednesday we have a 6 o'clock here in Bishop Eaton in the evening. On Thursday, uh, today, and that was after I did the baptisms after the Mass today, we had a, a noon Mass, midday Mass at St Mary's. Tomorrow there'll be another 6 o'clock here at Bishop Eaton on Friday and then of course Saturday I'll record the Mass here. My brother James is away. So I'm going to be dependent on myself now, trying to do this, and I'm actually recording this on my own uh, iPad this afternoon. Well, it worked last week, so I'm hoping uh, it will be the same at the weekend, although it'll be slightly longer with the Mass. But again, we're encouraged that the Masses should be fairly straightforward and, and not too long. So especially in this holiday time, I think we'll, we'll just get by. We won't have any singing perhaps this weekend, um, but we'll need to do a little bit of singing the following weekend because we're celebrating then the Feast of the Assumption. So there we are. Um, thank you for all the goodwill. Thank you for all the support. And we'll continue to try and respond gently um, as everything arises. So let's just pray again that the Lord will reach out, bless you, bless your homes and families, and that the Lord will also bless all those people in other parts of the world who so desperately need our prayers and our love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.